Jesus is salvation. Now, many of salvation itself, we look towards Yeshua. But what we've been seeing is actually Messianic prophecy that time and time again has been showing us how to build for a new evidence of the creation of the Creator. And also, because of that, we end up actually calling him the name of the Lord. Jesus uses from Isaiah, he says the Spirit of the Lord God, the Ruch Adonai Yachavaya. When you call into the name of the Lord and you end up receiving that blessing, the adoration of Christ, it's then therefore giving you for the edification necessary to have the implementation of the Asking that leads into the nation. So when we look towards Moshe, the man of God, Moshe Chayi you are then therefore connected within the Creator, within Moses himself, actually, and also you see that that same introduction is given forth in the Holy Prophets. So when you look at David, he uses that mismo verde. Jesus is so special because he uses a reference to the prophets. It doesn't necessarily say that this is what's written from the scriptures from Christ. You see, what we end up having is the story told from each of the apostles. When we understand that he is using the scriptures themselves to edify his testament, he shows us how we ought to have our ministry. We use the word of God testify to all things. It's not that we say, it's that the Word of God says, that the Spirit of God works. It's that the Word of God says, that we believe and confess that Jesus is Lord and receive salvation. It's that the Word says, that grace coming through faith. That's no way to boast. But if we ought to boast, boast in our weaknesses, look at everything that every individual in Christ, and every prophet, brought forth and was able to then therefore have a new life and a new redemption. Moses was brought forth as a murderer and an outcast to be a redeemer. David was set forth in the wilderness, lived in caves to receive the kingdom. When we end up seeing where the God can take something that seems negative and turn it into something amazing, that's the ability of Christ, that's redemption power, that's resurrection power. That's the blessing that we end up receiving within the Creator. And because of that, we then therefore receive all things. It is the eternal salvation of Christ Jesus, the redemption that we have for our souls, and also the blessing that goes forth into eternity. Make sure to all the world. You receive it. And because of that, that deception that we end up receiving, not only do we receive Christ, but we have the ability to then take what's been given to us and share it with others. You can't give something to somebody if you don't have it. But if you have Jesus, you got everything because Christ has given it to you. If you take love from God, you can show others that it's love. And that's the greatest commandment. It is to love God with all your heart, your mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's really his message. It's simple. It's so simple. Love God, and you end up receiving the kingdom. My prayer for you today is to have a new understanding of Christ, to be able to receive the blessing he has given for you all of humanity. Take a moment today. David prayed five times a day. Matter of fact, take five minutes today just to say Jesus is there. Tell the Lord I love you. And thank you. I appreciate everything. And I want you to receive that love in Jesus' name. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.